Hey guys, Joe here, and here I'm today to talk about the top 7 best nares in my own personal opinion. Now, these are what I'm feeling like are the strongest, and this time, if there are similar nares, I'll just pick the one that's the best of that kind, in my opinion, and keep that in mind for a lot of the nares that are just similar to each other. With all that said, though, let's get this going on the top 7 best nares. First off, I want to talk about Ness and his nair. Now, his nair isn't really anything too special, but what it is is a very solid combo tool, a great get off me move, and a pretty okay kill move, at least off the stage. This attack doesn't have the most range, but it does have a lot of really good speed, and that's what makes it so good. It's a very basic nair, but a very strong one indeed. For Zelda, I would have never said that she had a great nair until the most recent patch, mainly for the fact that it was super hard to combo into this nair and it wasn't too safe, but now with your down throw nair, well, it's a lot better. Of course, the damage buff on this move was also very nice, but really, in general, this move just got a lot better. It has a big hitbox, has quite a bit of combo potential, and it's just a very nice move, especially off of that down throw. It does a lot of damage per hit now, and it's just a great move to try to use off your down throw, a great combo move, and overall, very solid on Zelda, and probably one of her best moves. Similarly to Zelda, Bowser would not have made it on this list if it were not for his up throw buff. When that thing got buffed, this nair got so much better it could combo now, and you could hit almost every part of your nair out of the up throw. And it was just kind of what this move needed. The thing itself does some of the highest damage in the entire game, and being off a throw, well, it's just really amazing. It is hard to use without a throw, you gotta remember that, but throws are really easy to get as Bowser because you have a great grab range, so it's really not too much of a problem. Marth's Nair is my favorite of the FE Swordsmen, even though they are very similar for the most part. Now with Marth, you can go in for a lot of defensive Nairs to stop enemies' approaches, but as well, you can try to hit an Nair and then go for something like a Tipper Tilt, a Tipper Smash, or a Jab into a Tipper Smash. Overall, this is just a really great spacing move, and it's one of the most safe moves in the entire game, which is very nice. For Rob, you don't often think about his Nair, but it really is one of his best functions. This thing is a medium startup, but after it started, it has so much that it can do. You can combo, you can kill, you can safely get to the ground with this. In essence, the move just is kind of almost uncounterable with the hitbox and with the shield stun that it does apply on the enemy. And yeah, this is just really one safe thing, probably the safest Nair in the whole game. It covers most of his body and will be one of the most powerful tactics as Rob to use, especially since it has almost no end lag. With Falcon, I'm going to say that this is one of his most valuable moves. Of course, he does have a lot of great stuff like the knee, the Falcon punch, and a lot more risky stuff, but his nair is what keeps him from being too much of a one-trick pony and too freaking risky. It can be used defensively to space, it works wonders on shields, and of course can just stop a lot of approaches, and it just has a huge hitbox and comes out very fast. It does a lot of what these other moves in this kit can't do, and it does have that great bonus of having a lot of combos out of it and a lot of combos into it, so really that doesn't hurt it either. Finally, we got Shulk, and this thing has been great for as long as I can remember. It's hard to to counter, it does great against shields, and it has almost zero lag after you use your nair. Now this is great because after you use your nair, you can go for almost any of your options, which gives you a huge amount of mix-up potential. As well with all your modes, this thing gets even better because it becomes a gimping tool, one that sets up kills, and something that you can spam a while while you're just running around on the field. This thing has a ton of great stuff that it can do in a ton of situations, and it works almost all the time, and that's why I place it as number one. There you all go, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you liked it make sure to smash that like button and comment down below what character you think I missed, I know I can't get everyone. Thank you for your time though, and I'll be seeing you all next time.